I want to check in with Storm Tracker meteorologist Carson Meredith right now. I mean, it is shaping up to be a pretty nice day. Yeah, huh? I actually went outside yesterday afternoon with uh, no shoes out. on and just hung out. So it wasn't that bad. Yeah, when the sun's yeah. out, it's good. Exactly. When you got that full sunshine, it could be in the 50s or 60s, but it still feels pretty comfortable. And that's going to be the case again today. It's just those actual temperatures will be even warmer than yesterday. This morning, we're also a little bit warmer, but it's still cool. Don't get me wrong. 41 in Huntsville, 40 degrees this morning in the Shoals. Good morning, Guntersville. You're checking in at 41 in Marshall County. Nice sunrise. Get the day started as some of those clouds start to stream in, and we'll have that mix of sun and clouds with us pretty much all day long. The early warning radar network is dry. It's going to stay dry during the day, and if you have any evening plans, you're looking dry as well, but after midnight tonight is when that rain starts to move in, and and if you're a fan of the spring-like feel, this is your last chance for a while to see those high temperatures in the upper 60s. That cooler weather that we were dealing with earlier this week comes back in a big way by the weekend. Your pollen forecast today. Tree pollen still in the very high category. Grass pollen is in the moderate category. Now that we've had several days of dry weather, that's the reason why the pollen is running so high. We may get a little bit of relief as this rain moves in tomorrow. But that re relief, that is, will be quite short-lived. Let's go through future radar. 3 o'clock this afternoon, just fine. Partly cloudy skies. More clouds than sun later this evening. And then by 1 o'clock tomorrow morning, here comes that rain. Now, right along the leading edge of this rain mass, we could have a narrow line of heavier downpours, maybe even one or two thunderstorms. But there is just not a lot of fuel in the atmosphere. We are not expecting severe weather at all. But don't be surprised if you get woken up by a few rumbles of thunder overnight tonight. This is 3 a.m. That heavier rain is along I-65. And we will keep this rain around, some of which could be heavy, for the Friday morning commute. Give yourself an extra 10 to 15 minutes tomorrow morning. By 10 a.m., most of the shower activity is east of I-65 and we'll dry things out for the most part tomorrow afternoon. Perhaps still a couple lingering showers by 2 p.m. but past 4 o'clock tomorrow that rain is pretty much done. Any St. Patrick's evening festivities tomorrow night should be just fine and Saturday is looking pretty good too but it will be much much colder. You can see by 10 o'clock Friday morning those darker green colors and the shoals that's cooler air moving in behind tomorrow morning's cold front. We'll drop those temperatures as the day goes on. 3 p.m. Friday highs temperatures actual temperatures near 50 degrees down into the 40s by 10 p.m. and when you wake up Saturday morning we will likely be hovering near freezing once again. Saturday is going to be the warmer day this weekend, 52. We have a reinforcing shot of cold air that moves in Saturday night, and that's going to keep our highs in the 40s. That is it on Sunday, despite plenty of sunshine. And it goes without saying, but we will say it. Light freeze possible Friday night. Hard freeze is almost a guarantee. Saturday night and Sunday night with those overnight lows in the 20s. And then we'll finally start to see those temperatures balance out just a little bit by the early part of next week. There you see the seven-day forecast. We're back in the 50s Monday, 60s on Wednesday. And as far as rain, well, once we get past tomorrow's rain, we're going to be dry for much of next week.